Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how you can crop a photo in the GoodNotes app. There's two different ways that you can do this. You can do a rectangle crop or you can do a freehand crop. And I'm gonna show you both ways in this video. So first, I'm gonna show you the rectangle crop and I'm gonna use a set of stickers that I already have saved to my camera roll. These are available in my Etsy shop, so I'll link to my Etsy shop in the video description. Um, so I'm just gonna hit the plus sign, click on image, and since they're in my camera roll, I'm gonna click on photos. And I'm gonna pull those in. And let's say I just wanted to use this pink square right here. So what I'm gonna do after I've pulled the image in and it's still selected, and I know it's still selected because it's got the box around it, I'm just gonna click on it and click on crop. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna make sure rectangle is selected. And I'll see the box around it. And now I'm just gonna move these lines and get them as close as I can to that pink box. And once I've done that, I'm just gonna click on done. And now all that's left is the pink box that I wanted to bring in. And so now I'm gonna show you the freehand crop. The freehand crop works a little bit differently, but it does the same thing if you just wanna bring in one part of a image. So for this, I'm gonna bring in a set of stickers that I have saved to Dropbox, and these are also available in my Etsy shop. So I'm just gonna click on the plus sign, click on image, and click on Dropbox. And now I'm gonna pull these in. And this is a good example of an image that you would need to use the freehand crop for because um, you know, some of these are placed close together. I had to do it that way so they would all fit on the same page in all 20 fonts. Um, so that's why freehand crop is so awesome because you couldn't do a perfect rectangle around these. You would have to draw a funky shape to get some of these uh, to work. So anyway, um, now that I brought that in, the box is still around it. So I'm going to click on the image and then click on crop. And I'm going to come down here and select freehand. And let's say I just wanted to bring this anniversary sticker in in this uh, script font right here. So I would just draw a shape around it. And you know, the shape doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to connect perfectly, but just try to, you know, make sure at least the lines intersect at some point just like that. And now click on done. And now it's brought that sticker in. And so that's how you do it. It's really simple. Um, and this is a great thing that you can do if you have tons of PDF printable stickers that are all on one sheet and you wanna bring those in as individual stickers. This is how you would do that. So feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Um, you can find me on Facebook. You can contact me through my website. I will leave links to my website and my Facebook page and all of that in the video description. Thanks so much.